And depending on test results, Wentz could sit out the rest of the season. The Eagles are 6-7 and seven and still in the playoff hunt currently. Shannon, what's your reaction to this news? I'm surprised. Um, but then again, I guess uh, they do not believe that the Cowboys are going to lose their last three. And they went out and win this division. They're not getting in as a wild card. The only way they can make it to the playoffs, Skip, is to win the division. And they don't believe the Cowboys will lose, go 0 for 3, and they went B3 and 0. Hmm. Um, and so they're going to err on the side of caution. Um, that Carson Wentz back, stepping up on him at some point, um, be it last game, maybe it's something that he's been dealing with. Hmm. Um, but <clears throat> I don't blame them. I would err on the side of caution. Um, but it's hard for me to believe that if they were if they thought they had a chance or if Carson went, if they were in mm -hmm. reverse roles with the Cowboys, they had a two-game lead. It's hard for me to believe that Carson Wentz wouldn't be playing. But they're going to do it to test. They're going to get the MRI, and hopefully they don't have the antiquated equipment that they have mm -hmm. in Oakland, and they'll get a, definitively, a definitive answer uh, by the end of the day or a, at least by tomorrow. But uh, this is a disappointing ending for this team that had a very disappointing season given what happened at the culmination of last year. Mm -hmm. So it's also possible that Philly got just desperate enough that they said, you know, we got the Super Bowl MVP you know standing what? I knew on the sideline. I knew you was going to do that. And they said, you know, we we might have a little better chance if we throw Nick Foles in there. Stop? Where did he have his coming out? It was at the Coliseum against the Rams a year it ago. It wasn't right? coming out. Walking to him through four touchdowns. Mm. He came in and made one big throw skip mm. on the third down. He did. And now you want to say he saved the game. So you know what's going to yeah. happen? Mm. I know what you're going to do. I know what you're going to try to do, mm. Skip Bayless. What? You're going to try to do Nick Foles win a couple of games, and you're going to say, see, I told you. If they'd have had Nick I, I'm Foles. I'm already telling you no, now. No, 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 I told you before the season started. Yeah. No, no. I want you to stop this, Skip. Mm -hmm. Stop I, it right I'm not, now. I already started. I told you before the season started, <laughs> in the history of the National Football League, no team had ever faced a dilemma, a conflict, like Philly was about to face. Carson Wentz coming off knee surgery shaky during the preseason, not sure that he was ready to go, and Nick Foles holding a clipboard on the sideline, having played two of the greatest playoff games I've ever witnessed, the NFC Championship game and the Super Bowl. He outdueled Tom Brady in the Super Bowl to be MVP, and now he's standing on the sideline yeah. while Carson Wentz with the weight of Eagle Nation on his shoulder pads, having to live up to that? It wasn't fair. I told you it wasn't fair to this kid. So Carson Wentz has never taken a single snap in one postseason game. And he all of will. a sudden, everything's riding on Carson. They got to repeat with Carson, he will who didn't year. do any of that. He will next year. Yeah, next year. Yep. Well, maybe this year they're saying we still got a shot. No. It's a long shot, but it's a shot. It ain't no Let's shot. Let's see what we got with Nick Foles. Let's see, should we reinvest in Nick? Should we see if the offense looks a little different with him running it? All those zone reads and all the, the, the play action that, that Foles looked a little more adept at, a little more adroit at than Carson. But did. you'll see, because guess what? He'd be two years, he'd be over a year and a half removed from that knee surgery. Mm -hmm. So you'll see a different walking to him next year. Mm. He will be back in himself, and I would predict he'll be the front runner for the MVP. Front and, runner? Yep. Well, he's the back runner for this year's, right? Yeah, a little huh? setback. He had a little setback? <laughs> You know, and, and it came down to... He still got more touchdowns than that. Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah. And he missed all them games to yeah. start the season. But his... Well, he's six and seven, his team. Dak's eight and five, right? So, and it came down to a minute 39 left in regulation Sunday at Jerry World. And Dougie P, Doug Peterson, who wrote a book titled Fearless. I'm fearless. I go for broke. Oh, you wanted to go yeah. for two points. Well, didn't dude, I didn't want him to. I just thought he would because that's what he's made of. But was he a little afraid of bounce it to him wince? Was he just you know a little... What? I'm asking you. I don't know. Because I was shocked he didn't go for two. I thought they had the momentum. He, he probably I thought have. they had the edge. I thought uh, you just you run something. You pull out your bag of tricks. You run your Philly special that you've created for this year. No. And you walk home with the win, right? And instead, no. Well, yeah, it's easy to say that now because they 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 sacked the Cowboys on third down and the time ran out. Mm -hmm. And so it's easy to say that now. But who knows if the game turns out differently? Like, well, yeah, I mean, I, prob I probably would have went for it, too. I'd have rolled a dice. Yep. That's how I am. Mm. Yep. So is he going to write a sequel to that book and called it Fearful? <laughs> is that what? Okay, Skip. Yep. Look. 
I don't know. He had an off year. Yeah. So in between, he took some time off. He'll write another book next year hmm. when he's in, in Miami at the Super Bowl that we'll be oh, covering. We, we, that is our, that's our Super Bowl. Yeah. So you, you're saying Philly will – is this your prediction? There's a good chance. I'm going to see good how it will oh, we'll, oh, we'll see how it bounce it to him comes out of the offseason? Oh, he'll be 35 touchdowns yeah. next year. Is it possible? I, I mean, I'll, put, I'll put three cases of do right now. Walk it to him, we'll have at least 35 passing touchdowns next year. Three cases? Three cases. You're, you're so far behind it. It's like no, I'm going to pay these off. Value I'll now. Pay, I, even... I know I'm going to pay off 10 cases, and we're going to be clear. Wipe the deck clean. They have 35 touchdown passes? 35 or more. What's he got now, 21? Yep. Huh. 35 or more for three cases. I'll do it. Futures bet. Okay. I'll take it. Okay. 35 or more because... What are you doing over there? Origami? <sighs> Yeah, because I, yeah. I already know. I already know, Skip, because he's going to be, that knee going to be two years removed from that surgery. He's going to be stronger. Wouldn't it be funny if Nick Foles were the starting quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles next Nick year? Nick Foles would probably won't even be on the roster next uh, year. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's to be determined right now. Maybe they see what happens at Rams, then they got the Texans at home, then they got Washington. Skip, right? you and I both know Nick Foles is probably, there's a 95% chance he's not going to be on that mm. roster. Because I believe he wants to go start somewhere. Mm. He believes he can start. Well, I have never quite believed in Carson Wentz. I told you that from the start. I'm not. But you believe in that? Yeah, I do. Intangibles, big time, big play, playmaking. I'll, what, I'll take that. Walk it to him. Man. Leadership. Because I'll think take about it. it, Skip. We didn't see we didn't see him run this year like he mm. ran last year. So mentally, he's not where he needs to be with that knee. But mm. he'll be okay.